This is a video review of the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction One-Step Grimlock figure. I have never quite been a fan of the Bionicle or Hero Factory aesthetic, so I'm not quite a fan of this guy's aesthetic either because it's kind of similar to that. Let's not say it's bad, I mean, he has lots of nice detail on him, like, look at that tail, lots of nice detail. The neck, and especially the head, like, all those nice jagged teeth look really cool. The overall shape of the head is nice. <coughs> and I like how they picked out the um, eye in that nice uh, turquoise. Um, if I have any problem with the way he looks, one is that his head does not actually stay together very well. It's coming apart at the seams there. Sometimes it'll stay together better than other times. I'm not quite sure what determines that because it's, um, it's just kind of annoying how it doesn't stay together. And I also don't like how piddly the legs look. They don't look powerful at all. He should have much larger legs. But I, on the other hand, I don't quite know how they could do that without running the robot mode, so... Anyway, speaking of the robot mode, this guy is a one-step transformation figure, so what you actually do is simple, but his transformation is actually quite complex, which surprised me. Now, what happens is you will be pulling his uh, thighs back like this, and there are lots of hinges in here that are going to be uh, moving, and when you do this, the tail is going to go down, the head is going to go up, the legs will go down, the arms will split, and then the legs will also split, and there are these uh, little hinge bits right here, um, not hinge, spring bits right here. Normally those are pressed in the beast mode, and when those are no longer pressed, it causes the head to transform from a head into uh, feet. And I think that's really interesting how they pulled it off, because it's transformation for everything that you're doing, which is just one step, is actually really complex, and just seeing it all happen in your hand and feeling it happen, it's really neat, actually. So I really like the transformation. Um, now, his robot mode itself, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like the narrow waist or the way that the arms curl in like this. And I think his chest here looks really ugly because it's not an actual chest, it's just a collection of hinges. So I'm not a huge fan of this, but I do really like his head. The head sculpt is really well done, and it's really well painted. So do I recommend this guy? Um, a little bit. He's a nice toy for kids. If you just want a pocket Grimlock, he's a nice toy. If you are into collecting these one-step figures, because they actually aren't bad, they're kind of cool, but you have to kind of be into them to be into them. They're not must-buys, basically. Um, if they interest you, certainly try them. But they're not must-buys. If you have other stuff you want to buy, buy that first. Anyway, this has been a video review of the One-Step Grimlock figure. I review Transformers, Power Rangers, Macross figures, uh, Digimon figures, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. I've got playlists and a Facebook link in the video description down below. Check that out, and thank you for watching.